So you want to install Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store? Then in this video, I'm going to show you how you can place the GTM snippet on all your pages, including the checkout pages of your Shopify store. All and more coming up right after this. Today our journey starts in our Shopify store, where we want to install Google Tag Manager on all pages. Now, in order to make sure that this actually works, we would need to check the actual normal pages, the homepage, for example, the product pages, but then everything through the cart and also through the checkout. Now, the official Shopify documentation says that you can install Google Tag Manager via the theme code editor. So in your backend, that would be under your online store, the themes here, we can go to action and edit the HTML and CSS. Specifically, we are looking at the theme liquid file and this is where you would place the snippet. Now you can find the snippet of Google Tag Manager once you have opened up an account by clicking up here on this GTM ID and this will prompt you with your two snippets that you should install in the head section and the body section of your HTML of your Shopify store. So that would be one time here under the head section and under the body section. Now, what I have found when I've installed this was that Google Tag Manager would not be installed on all the pages, namely the checkout pages. Now in the documentation, it says you should place your code in a checkout liquid file, but this is actually not available to normal Shopify users, only to Shopify Plus users. So I've come up with a little workaround and that would look like this. So we would take the body portion of the tag, so that's the no script portion, copy that and go over to our theme liquid file. So this is the first file here. And we would go down to the body section and place that right after the opening body tag. So right here, let's save this. And for the head section, we won't use this integration. We would actually go over to the preferences and here we can enter custom JavaScript to add to our Google Analytics code. So let's click on this and enter our head code right here. Copy that and enter that here. Now this is already surrounded by script tags as you see. So no HTML allowed. So we'll get rid of the script tags at the beginning and the end in this comment up here. And we are left with just the script tag. And we can save this and go over to our store, reload. Now we can see already in our Tag Assistant for Google Chrome that we have Google Tag Manager installed, an easy way to actually see if it's installed on all the pages is entering the preview and debug mode. So now we are on the preview and debug mode and let's reload this page. And we see Google Tag Manager is on this page. So let's check our pages. We are going to the home page. We're going to a product page. And each time we see that the console opens, so Google Tag Manager is installed. Let's check out. Also on the checkout page, it's installed. Let's go through the checkout. And you see Google Tag Manager is installed on all the pages, including the checkout pages and the thank you page. Now I must warn you that there is a downside because you wouldn't install the actual no script tag on the checkout pages itself through this workaround. So you would only install the head tag onto the checkout pages. So if you go to the checkout page and open the source here, we would find our head code in here, but not our no script tag. That would be only installed onto the other pages. Now, what does the no script tag actually do? It is there for browsers that don't have JavaScript enabled. In my experience, it is a very rare case. So I think the tracking difference would be very low or even not noticeable. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. The other thing I would recommend is not to install Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager because with Shopify, we have a very good integration with Google Analytics already. And we can also use the enhanced e-commerce tracking features, which wouldn't necessarily work if you deployed Google Analytics through Google Tag Manager, because you would need to set up very specific data layers for this to work. 
But other than that, you can go ahead and add your tags to your Google Tag Manager account. I think that is very wise to do for any kind of retargeting, conversion tracking, or any kind of other marketing tags that you want to deploy. It would make a lot of the tracking much easier to handle with Shopify stores. Don't forget, if you're ready to set this live to all the users, you need to submit a version, give it an appropriate name, publish, and it will go live to all your users. So now you have Google Tag Manager installed on all your pages on Shopify. All right, so there you have it. This is how you can install Google Tag Manager on your Shopify store completely. Um, if you wanna see a few more examples on how to implement tags with Google Tag Manager on a Shopify store, then uh, give us a thumbs up or leave us a comment down below. And also consider subscribing to the channel because we'll bring you new videos just like this one every week. Now, my name is Julian. Till next time.